Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is India Bags License for Ocean Exploration. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. India has secured an exploration contract from the International Seabed Authority for polymetallic sulfur nodules in the Carlsberg Ridge, located in the Northwest Indian Ocean. This marks the first global license granted for such an exploration. Signed on 15th September 2025, the agreement allows India to explore this 3 lakh square kilometers region, which contains valuable metals like manganese, cobalt, nickel and copper. Now let's discuss about the Carlsberg Ridge. The Carlsberg Ridge stretches 3 lakh square kilometers in the Arabian Sea and Northwest Indian Ocean. It forms the boundary between the Indian and Arabian tectonic plates and extends from Rodriguez Island to the Owen Fracture Zone. This ridge is a hotspot for polymetallic sulfur nodules, which are rich in critical minerals, vital for industries such as battery manufacturing. Now let's talk about India's application for exploration rights. India applied for exploration rights in January 2024 for two regions, Carlsberg Ridge and the Afanasi Nikitin Seamount. While India has secured the Carlsberg Ridge, the ANS Mount remains pending approval. The ANS is claimed by Sri Lanka for exploration rights. Countries must seek permission from the ISA to explore areas in the high seas, regions beyond any nation's territorial boundaries. Now let's discuss about strategic importance of ocean exploration. While deep ocean exploration for minerals is controversial due to environmental concerns, countries pursue such rights for strategic reasons. These minerals, although expensive to extract, are becoming increasingly important due to the growing demand for materials like cobalt and nickel, essential for technologies such as electric batteries. Exploratory rights often act as a tool to block other nations from claiming the same areas, adding a layer of geopolitical competition to these ventures. Now lastly, moving on to the International Seabed Authority. The International Seabed Authority is an autonomous international organization established under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea in 1982 and the 1994 Agreement. It is responsible for organizing and controlling mineral resource activities in the deep seabed for the benefit of all humankind, ensuring the protection of the marine environment. ISA, headquartered in Kingston, Jamaica, became fully operational as an autonomous international organization in 1996. Membership includes all 170 states' parties to United Nations Convention on the law of the sea, including 169 member states and the European Union. The area, which covers 54% of the world's oceans, is considered the common heritage of humankind. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about International Seabed Authority. 1. The International Seabed Authority was established under the United Nations Environment Programme in 1982. 2. International Seabed Authority is headquartered in Kingston, Jamaica. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2 2. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.